Hi, this is Blake, and this is JASM for ID users. And the topic of today is tagging in JASM. So you can see I have a small scene here that I've done a little bit of mapping. I, of course, have my selection tool. These are both selection tools, but I'm clicking on some of the mapping I did. And over here in the tags panel, as I click on these objects, you can see that none of them have any tags. I can also tell just by the way they look. Um, they have no real styling. So I'm going to go ahead and start tagging up some of this stuff. So I'm going to click on this road. This road goes to, uh, you know, comes off of a main road and then goes to a small farm. So JASM has presets just like ID does. And there is a presets menu that you can go down and it's kind of hierarchical. So highways and then some, so some of this is not super clear. Like what's the difference between streets and ways? Just look them over. Um, go through each one of these and just see what your options are. This is also just a really nice way to see the sort of things that you can tag in OpenStreetMap. So just feel free to go through them and just make yourself familiar with the terminology. So if we were doing fences and walls, which we don't do very often, but there they are, um, tunnels and bridges and things like that. So just kind of walk through these and take a look. I, I will also mention that these are also the presets. So these are sort of presets that are up on the, this is exactly what you saw under the presets menu. Um, so you can also look at these. Somehow if these are easier to access than the hierarchical menus out of presets, go for it and use these. In hot mapping, we don't tag too many different things. So hopefully we'll find a little bit easier way than using the presets every time, but you can certainly use the presets every time. And you can also search the presets. So even if you if you look through all of these and you're just not figuring out whatever it is, you can certainly give the search a try. So for example, you know, if I was searching for a driveway, I might type in driveway, although it doesn't find any, which is interesting. So let's uncheck this. Show only applicable to selection and see if we have any luck. Okay, so I don't really have if I search for drive, I still don't find, I think this is a service, let's see here. Yeah, so then, so this is a service, a, a driveway is a type of highway that's called a service road. So here is where it says service. So I could highlight it this way too. If you use the presets, just like in ID, you get a nice big dialog window that has all kinds of things that you can fill in. But just like in ID, we typically can't fill these things in, so we don't. Um, I will show you, just point out some of the interesting things. This tells you up here exactly what sort of object. You know, this could be put on a way, or it could be put on a closed way, also known as an area. And this would tell you if it's setting additional things the way you have it filled out. So typically you can't fill any of this in. In this instance, I'm saying this is a service drive. I think it's a driveway, so I can actually, for a driveway, I can say service way type, and I can select driveway. The other thing that you can do here is, which is kind of interesting if you want to, you can click on pin this preset to the menu bar. So you can see that right here there's nothing, but if I say pin this to the menu bar, it'll put this preset dialog up on the menu bar. You can also go down and this will actually directly link to the OpenStreetMap wiki if you want to see more information about how to use this particular tag. But for now, I'm just going to say apply preset. And you can see over here that it has filled out these two key values for me, highway equals service and service equals driveway. So that's one way to get tags onto an object. Presets menu, search presets. It's also kind of nice after you search, this is a little bit like an ID where after you use a tag, now it shows up at the top. JASM is similar in that after you search for a tag, now it'll show up in the top of the search. It's not quite the same, but, but similar. So here's the last thing that I searched for and used, so it left it up there. You can also see now I added this to the, whatever you call this, the menu bar. And if I click on it here, it brings up exactly the same dialog and would let me to apply it to a different object if I wanted to. But if I right click on this and I say edit shortcut, it would actually let me, I have to click on it up here, 
but then I could actually assign it its own shortcut if I wanted to. So I could, if I was going to use whatever this was a lot, I could give it my own keyboard shortcut and then I could just use that keyboard shortcut to apply it, especially if it's like a complicated tag. Like this one is, you know, two different key value pairs. You know, sometimes you're working with, depends on what you're doing, but it could be five different key value pairs, but you could, if you wanted to assign it a keyboard shortcut to make it much easier to apply. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this from the toolbar, but so just remember that was using a preset. Um, whoops. That was using a preset. I'm just selecting a random preset here. Using a preset, and then I clicked on this button to have it get attached to the toolbar. And then I went and I right clicked on it and edited the keystroke. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this, and I'm just going to remove these. Um, I'm just going to take these off for now. So that's essentially one way to add tags to things is you click on it and use the presets menu to select or search. That is definitely one way to do this. The way that as a JASM user, you're gonna to wanna to learn how to do is the keyboard shortcut because this works out really well, <coughs> excuse me, for hot tagging. And the keyboard shortcut that you're gonna to wanna to learn is Alt-A. And that's, so essentially I have to select something first always. So I'm gonna select this and I'm essentially using this add button, but if you look, and it might be slightly cut off your screen, there you go. If you hover over the add button in the tags panel, you can see that it tells you Alt A is the shortcut. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this, and then I'm gonna type Alt A, Alt A. And this brings up another way to add tags to an object. And this is a, you know, an interesting little dialog box. Let's just take a quick look at it. So the last time that I did this, it always comes up with the last value you used, which can make things go really fast. The last time I used Alt A to add a tag, I was tagging a building equals yes. So that's the generic building building in ID. So obviously I'm not doing that, I'm doing a road. But the other thing it shows you is recently added tags. So. I've used this dialog box three, uh, you know, maybe more than three times, but only to assign three different kinds of tags. Building equals yes, highway equals residential, and highway equals unclassified. So this actually looks like an unclassified highway to me. So down here it will tell you additional keyboard shortcuts you can use that would let you pick from the list of recently added tags. By the way, you can make this 20 tags long. and so you almost essentially never have to end up typing in another tag because we don't typically tag 20 different kinds of things. But the way that I often do it, even though I'm all big on Alt-A for shortcuts, is I typically just double click on whatever it is. So you can see if I hover over it says use this tag again, or I could type Control-3, but I'm just gonna double click on it. And now it gives that object the highway equals unclassified tag. So let's say this is this is not an unclassified highway, but let's pretend like it is. So after I've tagged this as an unclassified highway, which I can see over here in my tags panel, key and value, highway equals unclassified. Uh, let's pretend this is also an unclassified. So I'm gonna do Alt A, and it says highway equals unclassified, which is exactly what I want, and I just hit return. Okay, so now I've assigned that tag as well. So it's a little bit different than going through the presets. You don't get the whole dialog box with all the different options you can set, which we're typically not setting anyway. Um, but this is the way that I, I generally do stuff. Uh, let's see what else we can tag here. So, uh, you know, so you might see here, this is, you might be able to tell, this is probably power lines. That's what power lines look like in aerial imagery because they clear the ground under the power lines. And if you zoom in, you can see this is a power tower. This is the shadow. So you'll never see the shadow of the lines really, but you can typically see the tower. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a point right here. This is the editing tool. So I'm gonna say, click on that. And I'm gonna add a point at the base. And I double click to add a point. And then I do Alt A. I do Alt A to add a tag. Um, so one of the things I didn't show you was this pop-down menu. Much like going through all the presets, this pop-down menu will show you all of the, these are all the the keys that you can use because this is the key field. 
Um, I happen to know that towers are man-made, so somewhere in here I should find a key for man-made. Oh, and I see man-made. Okay, so I'm going to add, again, this is where you might use the search the presets. You could do search presets and type in tower and you would get all the different options. I happen to know that this is man-made. So now it will actually change the values. So these are the typical values that you would have in the with the man-made key, the man-made tag. And so this is a tower, man-made equals tower. And then I just say, okay. And it goes ahead and it puts those tags on there. Certainly Alt-A is the way that I would get used to for adding tags to things. So I'm gonna go back and get my selection tool. I'm gonna see if I can find another tower real quick here. Okay, so here's another power tower. So here's the base of another power tower. Let's see, is that right? So you can see these shadows when you're doing power lines. There's a power tower, there's a power tower. I'm following the, the cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add another, we're gonna do another power tower right here. Alt A, and you can see man-made equals tower is the last thing that got used. So then I just generally hit enter. And you can see how fast it goes once you have used that. So I just double click, Alt A, return. And now I'm tagging power towers pretty quickly. So here's another one, Alt A. <coughs> and you see how this goes. So I would learn the Alt A. That's probably the very best way to go. Um, it just makes it extremely fast to tag things. So if I was doing another Again, I'm just going to pretend like this is unclassified. Um, and I'm just going to quickly map in this road. It's not the greatest mapping. You should be a little bit more careful. Always leave a node at an intersection. Double click to finish. Alt A. And this is highway equals unclassified. And now I'm tagging. So that's the way that I would suggest you tag. Presets menu. Go through them. You can search the presets. You can also pin one to your toolbar. You can use these preset menus, but I would suggest that you get in the habit of using Alt-A because you'll just get a list of things that you've tagged and then you can just double click on it to assign the tags. And that's tagging. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.